Hello, my name is Mark with Brand 3 d and uh, an often a question that I get from new Katia users is how can we perform keyboard shortcuts to be able to run different commands? Because Katia is icon driven, there's lots of different buttons found all over the place. And once you learn what those icons are, it can be very quick to uh, run those functions. But without knowing where they're at, or sometimes knowing a, a keyboard shortcut can often improve your efficiency. So um, one method uh, is if you right click on anything in the model, for example, here we've got a model with lots of data that's currently visible. If I was to go down to the geometrical set data and I want to hide that, one quick way of doing that is when I right click on a feature, notice that every single word in that drop down list has at least one letter underlined. The center graph has E, reframe on has R, hide show has H. So if I just right click on something, and hit H on my keyboard, it performs the hide show and hides that function. So I can rather quickly right click H, right click H, right click H, and hide everything I'm right clicking on. <clears throat> now, if you wanna be able to speed that up even more, you can go to tools, hide, and say hide everything of a specific type. So if I wanna say hide all points, it hides that function. Now notice, Tools has an underline as well. Now, hitting T doesn't do anything for us, but if you hold Alt and T, it does bring down those main menu drop down lists. From here, I could hit Hide H, and I can say I want to hide all planes, so I'm going to hit P. It automatically performs that function. Now, I arguably not any faster to go through all of that, but uh, Alt I brings down the insert menu. Alt F brings down the view menu. So you've got some shortcuts there. Now you'll notice that if I go to one of those functions, some of these different commands have a command over here. So control plus N is new, control plus O is open, uh, control S, control P, there's other ones like control C is copy, uh, control V is paste, uh, some of the more common window commands. Uh, if you want to be able to customize those shortcuts even more, the way to do that is to go to Tools and select Customize. Now, within this Customize window, we can set up all kinds of different things, but we're looking for commands. And there's different categories for commands. So we can go to File and see some of the default ones like New and Exit and so on. But what I like to do is go down here to All Commands. And this gives me a list of all the different functions that are within Katia. As long as you have license to be able to perform that command, it'll be in this list. Now I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And there's a command here called Zoom Area. Now Zoom Area doesn't have a shortcut, and it doesn't even have a button actually uh, in default Katia. But what it allows you to do is it allows you to draw a rectangle over a specific area and zoom in on that area. Now if I click on Show Properties, it gives me the option to be able to give it an accelerator and a shortcut. So this shortcut is going to include control plus C. Now, I know that control C is already in use. Control C is copy. If I try to leave it that way and hit close, it lets me know control C is already in use by copy. And if I needed to use that for uh, the zoom area, I would need to go find copy in this list, remove the control C from its accelerator, and then it would be open to use somewhere else. Now let's use something that isn't currently being used. So control R, okay? With that, I'm gonna hit close. Now if I hit control and R, draw a rectangle over a specific area, it's already performing that function. Okay, there's no button for it, so that's <clears throat> right now, one of two ways I can get to it. I can either get to it that way, or I can go to um, view zoom area and notice control R is now written off to the side of it to be able to say I can perform that. Now, as an added note, if you wanted to give this a command and you wanted to add it to a toolbar, what we can do is go to tools, customize, go back to commands, I'll say all commands, very bottom is zoom area. 
show properties. Now, control R is still there, but I'm going to give it an icon. Now, you can either uh, you can click the triple dots here to be able to grab a specific icon, and there's only 185 pages of these, so however many you want to be able to choose here, there's all kinds of options. Um, let's say that zoom areas, we're going to use this icon right here. Okay, it shows kind of a little window that you're drawing over. Once you've given it an icon, if we want to add this to a toolbar, if you click on its name, zoom area, drag it out here into your workbench. If you hover over a toolbar and see that little rectangle, that little grayed out rectangle, it will allow us to place it on that toolbar. There are some toolbars where it doesn't allow us to place it. And if that's the case, it puts this little circle with a line through it and we can't place it there. But if I find a toolbar that I want to place this on, say right there, it adds the new function. Now I can either hit Control R, which will do zoom area, or I can just select the button, draw the rectangle over the region that I want, it zooms in on that. And that works for um, most other commands as well. There are a few that uh, it doesn't allow us to give us an accelerator, but most commands in Katia will allow us to do that. Hope you find that beneficial. Have a great day.